Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh my god, that's a giant. Got him. Got him. There. Back in the <laughs> This never happens. What a day. I know. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode. We're out here with Fishing with Becca from up north as well as her brother Josh, and we tear him up today. Literally caught a huge catfish out here in the city, and I'm taking her to some of my favorite urban spots. Today's episode, though, is brought to you by Mystery Tackle Box. I'll tell you more throughout the day's fishing. Let's go ahead and get right into it. See you in a second. And it's like, that's Thank when you catch, that's when they're like... I think they took a sign down. There was definitely a no fishing sign between here and there. All right, we're gonna see how long this lasts, you guys. We just rocked up to the first spot, urban spot. You've seen us catch a ton of fish here. We are out with Becca and her brother Josh yet again. They're down south from Rhode Island. I've never heard of that place, but they're here. So we're gonna try and catch some fish. I hooked her up with the bait that always slays and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, cast at that drain. Catch it. Get one first cast. And maybe we need to walk it and see if they're on beds. Oh, oh, there we go. Just kidding. Oh. There we go. First one, did not take long. Sexy Shad gets it done at the spot, man. That's a decent one too for this little pond. This is a this is over two pounds, but I'm not sure how much. Ah, spinner bait, slow rolling it, man. Oh, yeah. oh Becca's on double up, easy money. Sexy shad with the crank bait. We do not waste time out here. First double up of the day. Okay, that's how you start a vlog. Little story for the folks at home. They're not biting today. It's too windy. Ten pounder. Oh. See you later, buddy. Peace out, homie. Nice. Nice. Becca's on with fish number three for her. That one looks a little bit bigger than her last two. Sick. Oh, there we go. Oh no, I got bit. Dang. I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> right at the bank. <laughs> wow, that was nuts. I'm gonna have to go buy a fish tank and put this guy in it. Straight up. Spinner, spinner bait is getting them. Oh, oh. What is going on? What is happening? Bite marks on both sides. He's been torn up. He's like, it's my turn. Well, the spinner bait's working, just not the same as yesterday. I think this looks more like what the fish in here are eating. This thing has just been tearing it up lately. On this underspin, I think it's a quarter ounce Wu Tungsten, probably like a three or four out hook. I'm unsure. I bought these a long time ago and I need to restock. This is just such an awesome rig. You can swim it. You can work it close to the surface. You can slow roll it on the bottom. You can find the fish almost no matter where they're at in the water column, bottom to top. Just enough flash to bring them in if there's not such good clarity. But in the good clarity, it almost just kind of draws them in to the lifelike presentation of this Gobi Saucy Swimmer. And they just can't resist, man. I'm throwing it on a go-to rod. 15 pound fluorocarbon line, fluorocarbon sink, so it helps this bait get down lower if that's your end goal. Also, some argue that it's less uh, visible to the fish than like monofilament or, or bra well, obviously braid, but yeah. Anyways, Metanium DC reel, which is great. A DC reel is great for the wind. I can cast right into it, not really worry about backlashing much, but you can do that with any old reel if you dial it incorrectly. So that is the stick, man. Seven foot medium heavy fast action the perfect all-purpose rod you guys can save 10 percent on these if you want to check them out guggensquad.com code west and saves you some money on the purchase i think we're about to catch some big fish man let's go oh god it's another catfish it's another catfish! There's no way! Oh my gosh! It's another catfish! Becca! This never happens! It's another! It's another one! Oh! He's smaller, he's smaller. He's smaller. I mean, he's for sure five. What is going on with the saucy? Watch yourself, I don't, wanna, I don't want this to... Yeah. Oh, oh shoot. Ah. See, that wow. Is you call it, it's wow. A freak of nature. Wow. This does not ever happen. A seven pounder. It might be. Let's let it settle. 614. 614, literally. Oh, God, dude. <laughs> the saucy swimmer. How is this happening? The saucy swimmer. Slow rolling it out there in the deep. I figured it was a bass. And then immediately when it came to the surface and I saw that tail, I said, oh, I got catfished again two days in a row. This never happens. Never happens. Two Moving baits. Species too. We're going for bass. Yeah, it is a different type of catfish. 
Anyways, all right, well, Look if this is seven here. pounds, Becca, that one yesterday was like easily 25. Oh yeah. The, the, like it was so, pounds. it would blew this thing out of the water. Yeah. Like it was it huge. <laughs> he was like latched on, just biting onto the scale. Oh, there's some footage. There's some footage right there. And he's just cruising the shallows. Like talk about B-roll. Wow. <laughs> oh, look, he's just cruising. Craziness. I'm just well, trying to man. catch some sevens out of ponds, man. <laughs> Guggen Squad scale coming in clutch too. This is on the GuggenSquad.com website. Saucy swimmers, go-to rods, man. All of it at a discount. Pliers, if you want it, we got it. Code Weston saves you 10%. I gotta catch some more fish. You can't fish here? Yes, I'm sorry, it's private That's fine. Property. Okay. Yeah, we're yes, good. <laughs> no worries. It's all good. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, guys. Hopefully you'll enjoy your stay. Okay, I appreciate it. You too. I'm actually with property management. You manage this property. You've done a wonderful job, ma'am. I just like to compliment you. In fact, do you know any properties around here that are private, miss? Oh, Becky, you would not believe. Oh, yes, girl. They were out there fishing. They thought they was going to get away with it. Uh, <laughs> I told them I was property management. You should have seen it. <laughs> All right, y'all. We just got kicked out of the first spot. We made a move to the second location. I want to tell you about today's sponsor, Mystery Tackle Box. If I could get this thing open. It is a subscription service. You get new baits shipped to your door every single month. It's literally like Christmas. Every single month you can get your first box for as low as 10 bucks with code Weston. Get stuff like this guy right here. He's got a blade and brings the fish in like you see in today's video. You got some craws in case they're after the Texas rig bite. And if they are, you're in luck because this month's box also comes with some worms. Natural color, great for clear water, as well as a baby bull gill. Becca, would you believe this? They're supplying us with the goods, man. This thing by itself. Sick. That's so sick. Is more than the cost of the box, and it's a lifelike swim bait that we'll probably catch some fish on at this pond right here. But if we don't, we could always toss the clutch. They have it in a fire red, perfect for springtime. Which is right now. The bite is on fire, guys. You have to be throwing stuff like a jig. I'm telling you, they got everything in these boxes. If you wanted to get one for yourself, check the link down in the description. They got some hooks in here, tips on how to throw the baits, a little measuring board in case you want to submit your catches to Mystery Tackle Box and win prizes. And I think that phone call is telling us we should get to fishing. So I'll see you guys in the water. Second spot. How'd you do that? I told you there wasn't fish in here. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. That's your biggest one, dude. That's good. On fire. Shout out to Weston for the juice, baby. <laughs> Shoo! Big. Got him. Not that big. I thought he was bigger at first. When I laid into him, he was pretty heavy. All right, my first one out of these ponds. Becca just uh, pulled the first one out. Uh, Josh got one. We saw two on beds, and these fish are active, man. This is absolutely nuts. Conditions even down here in Texas have not been this hot in a long time. And I don't want to jinx it because the bite could die off just as fast as we're catching them. But we're getting on some fish, man. This is just crazy. The clarity here is better than it's been in a long time. And these fish are just keying in on these saucy swimmers. I switched things up and I went back over to my left-handed rig. This is my SLX XT and the muscle rod for those strong hook sets. I am amped. Oh, God damn. Oh! So, muscle rod. <laughs> I don't know if I can put that in the video. I think I just didn't catch that fish. Okay. Nice. Hitting the worm out there deep. Good deal. Nice, Josh. Uh-oh. Okay. Nice. Save. Saved. Starting off hot at the next pond. Becca brought one in quick. Oh, God. That scared me. I'm like in the zone over here. Don't do that. <laughs> Wasn't even paying attention. There we go. Made a move to another pond. Spinnerbait got him. Cheers. <laughs> Is this the parking lot? They got cameras and stuff. Oh, oh I got you. I got cameras. You. Oh. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we're linking up with Ryan Rigged and Fisherman Dad Jimmy now. And apparently you don't park in the golf course. You park near the golf course because there's security. Didn't last long. Kicked out. All right, on to the next. Okay, Texas rig. Oh, easy money. First fish out of the pond goes to Josh. All right, it's about to be game time. Okay, so sometimes the first time you cast back onto a bed after you've switched your bait, like they're real fired up because it's something different. Yeah. 
and sometimes they just don't even care. So we're gonna see if this might work pretty quick. We'll see what happens here. Uh, there's the fish. This tree is not helping. He does not like it. Eat it then, eat it, eat it. Oh, he like chased it off the bed. He does not like this. Oh, he did eat it. He ate the legs off of it. Okay, this bass is gonna eat. Crack and crawl. Crack and time, the bed bait of choice. These are the first bass that we've seen on beds in Texas this whole year, crazy man. I think I can get this one to eat too. Here we go, swim in the crawl in, swim in the crawl in, dropping it down. He does not like it, does not like it. Oh wow, flared up on the crawl. Okay, hold on, hold tight. He just ate the legs off that bandito bug. I know we're gonna get this fish. Oh, eat it then, eat it kid. Ah! This fish is fired up in his face. Oh my gosh. Okay, you gotta get it just right. Playing hardball for real. Got him, got him, got him. <laughs> yeah, <Got him. laughs> Megan. <laughs> oh no! Easy does it, killer. Easy. <laughs> Dang, that's one of the bigger ones. That's wow. Wow. <laughs> first fish off a of bed in Dallas, Texas, Definitely for us this year. Bed. He'll probably not go back there right away, but he'll be like right back there tomorrow for sure. If not, like even just in an hour. All right, bud, you go back onto the bed. See ya. As soon as we switched it up from the saucy swimmer to something more like a creature bait, that's typically what happens. And then he smoked the bandito bug and ate the, uh, he ate the little flippers on the back end, dude. He like straight up ate those pinchers. He was mad. So I was like, okay, something like that should probably work, but I didn't have any more on me. And then I have a, uh, oh, and Josh is on like next cast. So this is a unique time. They're just starting to bed. So some are still out deep and some are up close shallow. Dude, you're crushing it today. I hope they're having good luck out there too because we are just having a blast in this corner. Yeah, wow. <laughs> That's three fish right here and there was one on a bed over there just a moment ago. It's absolutely oh, insane. Paying attention. Boop. <laughs> Catch and release. Where's Becca? She already found all the best. Well, did you guys like work all the way to the back corner already, Ryan, or no? See one. He's on to me. Wow. I was swimming the crack and crawl. Big one just came in and crushed it. Got him. Got him. Got him. That's a good one. There's another one over there too. Yes, off the bridge, man. Top of the mouth hook set. Dude, I don't even think this was the big one. Crazy. Smaller than this. And then a big one came in and whooshed at it, dude. There's a couple over here. I want to try and get this big one. Let's see you, bud. Uh, thank you. Yeah, that one was not too bad. I was feeling pretty good about it. Uh, this guy, he might go after it too. He's fired up, but have a good one. <laughs> thank you. That might have been the last straw. I tried to go after it. That's a bummer. Big bummer. No, it's still locked. Okay, here we go. This is the biggest one all day. Got him. Got him. Got him. Nice. Aggressive bass. God dang. Yes. There we go. Put this thing on the scale. Biggest bass off the beds all year. Definitely got to put it on the scale. Probably going to go for like three pounds. We shall see. Zero pounds. Sick. Like three pounds. Three. All right, let's get him back in the water. About a three pounder right there off the beds, y'all. Two ounces shy. Yeehaw. Cruising, dude. Took finesse, man. I had to work that one for a minute. I set the hook like three times. I was surprised it came back. It just, uh, it was kind of nibbling at it. That time it just grabbed it. It was not happy with the crack and crawl, y'all. Oh my god, that's a giant. That's a giant. That's a giant. Wow. Got him. Oh my goodness. Bigger than the last one. <sighs> I thought it looked like a bright bright spot right there, like a bed. As soon as I swooped in, Big Mama said, nope. Let's see what we're looking at there. Oh yeah. Three and a half pounder, y'all. Three pound, eight ounce. We'll see you, Bertha. Thank you for going after the craw. So every year, as the water starts warming up in springtime, and it hits that like 55 and starts getting a but well really like 58 is maybe when they would start to think about spawning is what i hear oftentimes right so in the upper 50s they start to think about coming up shallow fanning out and making these beds and in lakes like this where there's a lot of grass you can spot those beds easily right because it just looks like open sand in the middle of all the grass 
and there's almost guaranteed to be bass hanging around those lighter spots right along the bank and so i'm literally just kind of fan well not fan casting but i'm walking around looking for those beds and if i see a fish on it then i try and go for it that time i didn't see a fish on it i just saw that lighter spot casted towards it thinking there would probably be a fish guarding it was absolutely right that bass just came in swooped in for the crack and crawl and it was just lights out that was insane i think we've got four now off beds and you can just target these things if it's your first season fishing you've probably never seen something like this before where those bass come up shallow and you've got an opportunity to really almost play a game of chess with them and try and work them off those beds sometimes they're not locked on you go for them a couple times and they don't commit and they just spook off they're not quite ready yet but these fish are are locked you spook them off the bed and they come right back in fact there's a bigger fish right there oh my gosh just saw one yep here we go about to make first contact it's looking at it it's looking at it didn't need it got him. oh no he just ate it oh my gosh oh geez he ate it again this cracking craw is getting to the point where i'm gonna have to break it down one notch put that in my hoodie pocket that's what you got to do sometimes thing's caught many fish it's getting worn out sometimes i put a fresh crack and crawl on but no sense in that if he's gonna bite it this fish does not like the crack and crawl but there's not enough sun for me to really see him now oh oh wow he's biting it almost every time guys but he's just nibbling it smart fish it's done this before he's not like engulfing it got him got him there we go there we go there we go Ooh, got him got him sick you heck yes we are just raking them up today dudes first day bed fishing in 2021 is off the chain man the fish are just smoking it this is crazy crazy you guys have got to get you some of these right now oh check the link in the description spring fishing from 10 feet up dude, what a day i know all right, y'all, wrapping up an amazing day. Ryan Rigg, Fishing with Becca. Check out the channels down in the description. Started off hot at one of my favorite urban spots, Double Up with Becca. That was sick. Off the chain. Went to the next pond, boom, seven pound catfish. Got kicked out of how many spots today? Three. Two. Three. No. We'll go with three. We got kicked out of a lot of <laughs> spots today. And, and we too. ended it yesterday as well, man. We are the kings of getting kicked out. And we finished with a bang, man. The first fish on beds the entire season, the entire year. I hope you guys got some value out of today's episode. Learn how to catch them on some beds and also are grabbing some gear because spring fever is here, y'all. And if you ain't seen them on there yet, they're coming to the beds soon near you. So get the gear, get stocked up, and we'll see you on the next episode. Peace. <gasps>